Good afternoon, I'm Frances Willick with your Herald News Minute for Thursday. The University of King's College is appealing to the public for help in the case of missing King student Kashmala Fida. In a statement released today, the new president of the school, George Cooper, offered a message of support to Fida's family and friends and asked anyone with information about her to contact police in Truro. The Supreme Court of Canada handed down a decision today that will see copyright fees reduced for public schools across the country. For Nova Scotia, that means a reduction of about $35,000 per year, as well as a one-time refund of about $300,000 in retroactive fees. Just three of 21 non-unionized workers employed by the provincial government will move to rural Nova Scotia when their jobs get transferred there later this year. Last week, 93% of the affected unionized workers refused the transfer. The province is moving some fisheries and aquaculture jobs to rural Nova Scotia in order to be closer to the industries they serve. And in business news, plans for the new convention centre in downtown Halifax are changing. The Nova Centre complex will now feature two office buildings instead of one, and both will face Argyle Street. Work is scheduled to begin by the end of August. And in entertainment news, we'll have reviews of Ellen Page's new movie, To Roam With Love, as well as The Intouchables. Both of those movies open in Halifax this weekend. Gotta love that, Ellen Page. That's your Herald News Minute for Thursday. Have a good one.